All right, guys, now that we're back here, let's go ahead and lock back into Betaflight. <clears throat> and we still got everything powered on. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our motors tab now. And if you remember, we ran these motors before and they were all the wrong direction. Remember? So if we run these and we're just going to move this slider up slowly. Okay. All four motors are running and these are running uh, counterclockwise and these are running clockwise. Okay. And that's wrong. These need to be clockwise and these need to be counterclockwise. All right. So we're going to minimize that real quick. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip the switch off and we're going to click disconnect. We're going to go back to BL Heli and we're going to click read setup. All right. Now, each motor is running the wrong direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to, again, isolate each motor. Right click on motor one to where it's isolated. See where it says reversed? Turn that off. Once you click the arrow, because you're up here, if you go here's reversed, here's bidirectional, we want to go to number one, which is normal and click write setup. You have to do this, you have to write the setup for each motor. Then go to motor two, it's reversed. Write setup. Okay, motor three, I'm not sure why they're all reversed. Move it to normal, write setup. Okay, and then motor four, right click on it, move it to normal, and then click write setup. All right, now we're gonna disconnect again. We're gonna open our beta flight, we're gonna connect, and we're gonna go to our motors tab again. We're going to activate our tab here, arm the motors, and we're going to turn it on slowly. And now motor one and four are spinning correctly and motor two and three are spinning correctly. For some reason, the default on this one was to spin them uh, the wrong way. Uh, it had them reversed. So now we've done it. So now you have actually just uh, set your motor direction. Okay. And you have um, got everything calibrated. So this drone is perfect. The only thing we need to do next all right, the last thing we need to do is set up the VTX on here, and then you'll be able to change your channels for your video, okay? So excellent job, guys. Everything, if you've made it this far, your drone is 99% ready to fly, and uh, we got a few more things to do, the VTX and the receiver, and setting up your radio, and we're gonna be in the air, okay? So we'll see you guys in just a